For this assignment, we're first going to remember the concept of atmospheric perspective. Don't forget, that is the haze, the stuff in the air that makes stuff look farther away. Things farther away will appear lighter and sometimes more gray. Keep that in the back of your mind as you create your digital monochromatic landscape. When you open your Google Drawing, your first step is going to be to change that background color. So click on the canvas, right click it, background. I want you working in gradients. Gradients are really important for giving us that hazy appearance of atmospheric perspective. You can choose to customize each of them. To customize, look at the squares at the end of that sliding scale there and that circle. So when I clicked on the right square, then the circle, and the circle opens up the color palette for me. You can go ahead and make a custom color palette by clicking custom right here, or you can just stick with one of the sort of value scales that you see there. So you need to choose a color. I ended up choosing the orange scale. I decided to make mine feel like a warm scene. I'm gonna start pretty light in the sky. So I chose one of the lighter oranges. That created the color at the right end of my scale, but on the left end, it's still gray. So I'm going to change that. You can stick with gray. That can work with atmospheric perspective. I chose to go with white to give it more of a true value scale and also keep it lighter for my sky. It's up to you. You see what works. You can adjust your gradient. You can choose a different type on the left, or you can just play with the angle and it'll give you a little sample of what it's going to look like. When I was happy, I hit OK, and here's my sky in my background. Now we're switching tools. It's time to start building in your layers. So switching to that polyline tool, you may also use the curve. I'm going to start creating my mountain ranges. I'm completely making this up. You guys can choose to work from an image or kind of create your own imaginary landscape. Notice I went down all the way around the bottom of the canvas to kind of give me a full shape. And then I'm zigzagging my way across to create that feeling of a mountain range. Lots of clicking will give you more points to work with later. As soon as you're done, it turns light blue. We need to change that color back to our value scale. You know how to do that. And you've got to make the border transparent. I don't want any black outlines. So I'm going to continue working through here, creating more shapes to create mountain ranges that get closer and closer to me, changing the value, so making it a darker orange, and messing with the gradients. Remember that lots of clicking as you create a, sh a shape allows you later to double click on that and get these little purple dots. Those little purple dots allow you to make all kinds of small adjustments until you're happy with the shape. Also remember the basic rule. As things get closer to you, they should appear larger. So as I make my mountain ranges, I tried to make my peaks get a little bit bigger each time. Include seven layers, that can include the sun for your monochromatic landscape. Your final layer, the layer closest to you, like my cacti that I'm putting in here, should be the darkest value, typically black. At this point, I'd switch to the curve tool. Notice how I couldn't control it at the edges. That will disappear when I download this into a JPEG or a PDF. Anything outside the canvas will disappear.